morning, everyone. I'm Hannah Cockburn, and it is my pleasure to serve as the Transportation Director here at the City of Greensboro. And thank you for joining us today for the inaugural launch of the trolley, Hopper Trolley. Uh, before we begin, I want to first acknowledge all of the elected officials in attendance today. If you would please stand to be recognized. Sharon's already standing. Thank you for coming and thank you for your support. As many of you are aware, this project has been a long time in the making. It began with its selection by the participatory budget project process in 2019 and with additional funding allocated by city council through the American Rescue Plan, we were able to bring this project into fruition. While the idea of a trolley downtown isn't new, this project is the first of its kind for GTA, a free, frequent service running through the core of our downtown in a continuous loop serving 14 stops. This project shows our commitment to making Greensboro car optional. As part of the project's development, we invited the people of Greensboro to help name the trolley service, and we received more than 500 ideas. The Hopper name was selected not only because it describes how the service is intended to be used, but it also plays homage to the grasshopper cannons used at the Battle of Guilford Courthouse and, of course, our hometown baseball team. A project of this scope and complexity takes an all-star team to execute. I'd like to invite you to join me in recognizing the, the critical contributions that were made by those involved in launching the hopper. Please stand to be recognized as your name or organization is called. For support of the original idea and concept, the Transportation Alliance of the Piedmont, Downtown Greensboro Incorporated, NC State University, UNC Greensboro, and participatory budgeting. In particular, Karen Kixmiller, David Cashwell, and John Decker from the Greensboro team. On behalf of city staff, our managers, Taiwo Jayoba and Nasha McCray, Bruce Adams, George Linney, and Gray Johnston from the GTA planning team. For the marketing, Kevin Elwood, Amanda Lambert, Carla Banks, Lisa McMillan, Jamila Pender, Stacy Calfo, and Rob Overman. And our friends at the Greensboro History Museum who helped us with research and making the interiors really special, uh, Glenn Perkins in particular. And last but not least, I'd like to acknowledge our operations partner, RATP Dev. I know uh, Robert is here today. Robert? Hello? Thank you. Uh, also, Andre, Cor Andre Taylor, Corbin Fig, and Jay Perkins in particular. Thank you all. Today we, are in, we will be joined by an esteemed group of local officials who will now provide remarks. First, join me in welcoming Mayor Nancy Vaughn. I think a few years ago I could have just jumped up on the stage. Now I'll be sure to look for steps. <laughs> um, this is an exciting day. The, the trolleys are absolutely beautiful. I think they will be a great addition to downtown, and I'm really looking forward to see how they're used, how many people will maybe learn things about downtown that they didn't know before. I think it'll be a great opportunity for us to market downtown and surrounding neighborhoods more than we have recently. So I know that we will see them often, um, 
and I hope that everybody takes advantage and it is a wonderful way to kind of get to see downtown and not have to worry about who's driving and what's going on, but just to take an opportunity to enjoy. So I know that we're, we have lots of businesses that are going to use it for their employees, lots of families who will be down here um, going between parks and eateries. So um, it'll be exciting over the next few weeks to see these uh, trolleys circulate. I wanna thank um, the participatory budgeting for coming up with this idea and for pushing it. And the great job that staff has done um, creating the, the beautiful facades and upfitting the inside of the trolleys. They're going to be beautiful and comfortable. So thank you very much. Our next speaker is the City Council Liaison to the Transit Advisory Commission, Council Member Sharon Hightower. So good morning. What a beautiful day to get on a trolley, right? So thank you all so much. Let me switch. Let me switch. Thank you so much for being here today to celebrate the launch of the Greensboro uh, Hopper Trolley. So I'm here to give you just a little bit of history. I'm Sharon Hightower, as you know, as has been said. Uh, I'm city council representative for District 1. I've been serving as GTA liaison for a few years. Um, getting people uh, across the city is my passion to make sure people are getting there timely and uh, where they need to go, and that's what GTA is all about. So the trolley design, this inside and out, harkens back to the early history of public transportation in the Gate City. Transit service has long been a part of the fabric of our city. It's been the way Greensboro residents got around for more than a century. Our curators and educators at the Greensboro History Museum tell us that the Greensboro Street Tr Railway Company founded the first privately owned streetcar service in 1891. Back then, it was powered by, I guess you would know, a pair of horses or mules. <laughs> a decade later, when horses were replaced by electricity, when the Greensboro Electric Company launched the first electric streetcar service. By 1905, Greensboro streetcars That's another transportation mode, right? By 1905, Greensboro streetcars carried more than 1.4 million passengers a year. By the 1920s and 1930s, the streetcar line extended into what was then the Greensboro suburbs, into Old Ashboro, and out to Proximity Mill. They connected people to places of work, places of leisure, commerce, church, community, and their government. The streetcars fuel the growth of the city beyond these original 90 blocks of what is now downtown. Wherever the streetcar went, new development sprouted up. The last Greensboro streetcar was retired in 1956. The streetcars were eventually replaced by trolley buses motorized buses much like what the Greensboro Transit Agency uses today. Some 130 years later, public transportation was first introduced in Greensboro. We are hopeful that this new downtown trolley will be a way to connect people and places and continue to help our community prosper and grow. It was a very innovative idea through our participatory budgeting process, as has already been said, but it just shows you how engaged our citizens are to want to be sure that transportation is 
on the move through GTA and the city. And we're glad to be here today to support this effort. I can't wait to hop on and hop off. Thank you. And our final remarks will be provided by the chair of the Greensboro Urbanized Area Metropolitan Planning Organization, Council Member Mary Kay Abuzawader. So being the last speaker, I know I need to be brief because it is rather warm out here, so I will certainly pay attention to that. Um, it is wonderful to be here today as Councilwoman Hightower and the mayor have both spoken. This is something that is going to bring attention to Greensboro, to downtown. It is going to make us special. I don't know of any other cities that have this. They may, but you know, you can park down on one end of Greensboro and if you have want to go to dinner or you're look, going to a show or something, then you can hop on the trolley and get there in just a few minutes and not have to worry about looking for parking places, looking for what's in the parking decks, which, you know, we want you to use the parking decks, but you could do a parking deck and then use the trolley to go to your destination. So just think about all that. So in uh, January, we had our retreat, the council retreat, and we set out seven key priorities. And one of them was making Greensboro a hub of recreation and entertainment. Because a lot of companies who come here are looking for that for their employees. A lot of employers are looking for that. How vibrant is your community? So the Hopper Trolley will bring that to life, even more so than we do in everything else that we do. We know we've got wonderful parks, we've got recreation, all of these things, but this kind of brings into downtown Greensboro an extra heartbeat for the heartbeat of your, your city. So the trolley line, every seven minutes, will pick you up. You can hop on or hop off, and I think that is so cool. I can't wait to get on one and go and travel throughout, throughout this line in Greensboro downtown. I'm gonna see how many places I can hop on and hop off. So I think that is something that is very, very intriguing. So please join me in thanking all of the staff, all of the community, all of the GTA Commission, I know several of you are here, everyone, council members who played a part in this, all of you deserve a resounding applause. Thank you. We will now transition to our actual dedication with our Hopper Poppers. So thank you all for joining us today. Uh, before we proceed, I've got a few other housekeeping items to share. Uh, please remember to grab your Hopper gift bag back here at the table. It includes a memento for today's event. Following the dedication, the trolleys will begin departing from here promptly at noon. Uh, and everyone is invited to join us on the inaugural, inaugural ride and enjoy the customized images on the interior. The route uh, takes approximately 30 minutes to complete. And uh, once we complete our hopper poppers, uh, media availability will take place in front of the trolleys. So, for those of you that were our speakers and those who were recognized, if you'll join us here in front of the trolley, we will uh, give you some hopper poppers and some instructions, and then we will make the dedication. Three, two, one. 